The elegance of traveling via rail. A very romantic notion, especially for a frontier nation like America, where train tracks connected cities coast to coast, allowing old world comforts aboard this new technology while experiencing the rugged American terrain was the very symbol of economic mobility. I just ask a train robber. Railroads were America's first engineered highways, designed to carry the heaviest loads, and in the race to connect her cities, the backbone of America's infrastructure was laid. A system of telegraph lines, service roads, and of course, train stations was built on that foundation. Mass transit, freight, and information all came through these travel hubs, connecting people to faraway places. But even when President Lincoln signed the Pacific Railways Act, he thought it would be a hundred years for America to settle that sprawling two-thirds of a continent. Yet in 50 years' time, all the lower 48 states had been established due to the network of routes that allowed our young men to go west. All aboard! Before railroads were complete, Traveling across the country would have cost someone around a thousand bucks. In old timey dollars. With trains, that price came way down to around 150. Enjoy the ride. Raw materials, produce, finished goods, and the people creating them were all being mobilized by the economic power of steam locomotives. Railroad companies also introduced the power of the corporation to America as rail tycoons, AKA robber barons, <laughs> were able to conduct business in incredibly lucrative new ways, including corporate subsidies. The Iron Horse was at the heart of the era of massive wealth and greed that Mark Twain would nickname the Gilded Age. In 1869, the Transcontinental Railroad was completed through a mad dash to collect government subsidies and land grants. The Central Pacific and Union Pacific companies famously joined their competing tracks at Promontory Summit, Utah, with a golden spike, yeah, which was also the name of my hairdo in 89. Now America was connected from coast to coast with her first high-speed network. But the moment was underscored by the brutal workload and treacherous conditions laborers had to endure, crossing desert and climbing mountainsides. Cheap immigrant labor had often been used to build the rails, and in the South, it had often been slaves. In the West, the discipline of pay-discriminated Chinese workers allowed the timely progress that Irish-American crews did not deliver, even laying a 10-mile stretch by hand in a single day. In a bitter twist, eight Irish-Americans on their crew were celebrated, while the thousands of Chinese workers were ignored. If I were them, I'd be steamed. This video is inspired by our PBS series, Reconnecting Roots. Visit ReconnectingRoots.com to watch the full episodes or to check out our music and podcast. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe so we can keep making more. Thanks for watching.